But he's an unusual man in many ways, not only because he's chairman of the board of a $100 million corporation, and he downplays that. He has been listed as a doctor. He's been a minister. He's a chemist. And I read an article about him in the Christian Science Monitor, Monitor a very distinguished newspaper. And over his picture, it said, when nature speaks, he listens. Uh, the un unusual thing about Dr. Shackley is not only that he's head of the great Shackley Corporation, and they have maybe 125,000, 100,000 salespeople around, but that he is interested in products, products such as skin care products, cleaning compounds, food supplements, and even animal shampoos that do not do damage to nature. Your, your, your signal, your whole philosophy is cooperate with nature. I find that very constructive, Dr. Shackley. We have determined and mentioned many times we will not produce a product that can in any way injure a tissue cell. The thing that makes you this so remarkable is that you were involved in this long before the community as a whole got interested in polluting. Well, I've been an admirer of and a student of nature from the time I was just a small lad. Something about it whispered in my ear. There was the impression that nature was all there was to the expression of life. And I'd better cooperate and do that which nature furnished to for me without any obligation, just merely receiving. And I felt that uh, in my growing years, the development, athletic work, and the gym and all of that, that I, this is the only body I'll ever have, and it's being fed and supplied by nature, I'd better cooperate with nature. And that was the f beginning of the work that we're now following. Let's be specific. One of your big items, or perhaps the first thing you were interested in, was food supplements. How does that differ from other food lines and other food supplements, Dr. Shackley? Well, I never criticize another man's product. I can tell you what we attempt to do, and that is to produce the food values, the natural values, uh, and preserve them without chemical preservation. Our products will spoil just like a bottle of milk. No preservatives. No preservatives. It won't spoil as fast as a bottle of milk, but uh, they're, they're produced to give maximum values for the first 90 days. After that, they may start weakening at the end of six months. They weaken somewhat at the end of the year. They're of uh, questionable value. That's why we sell directly in the home, so that the distributor gets these products within a week, 10 days, or two weeks at most of the moment they're, they're produced. And it, they're out in the user's hands, in the user's home, within 30 days, we hope, 60 days at most. And that allows them to be consumed at the highest possible nutritional value. It's interesting that you refer to these as food supplements, and you avoid the term vitamin. Uh, I'm not avoiding the term vitamins. Vitamins are the name given to these elements. And uh, I was in this work uh, way back uh, in the early teens when we knew nothing about vitamins. We, in our first, exam first uh, investigation of food values, we determined a, a certain vital acid that when fed to laboratory animals and to humans, uh, resp they responded with more pep and vitality, and so we knew we had something vital. We called them the, the, the vital acids, and then we knew considerable about uh, minerals, which are uh, common and is uh, just as important as vitamins. Now, and <coughs> excuse me. we put those minerals uh, together with the vital acids and uh, called it Shackley's Vitalized Minerals, and sold the first product in 1915. 
That's a long time ago for you folks.